Welcome to another Greenleaf Terrain Studio update. I am just finishing painting up the rest of this fountain. Uh, the last piece of scatter terrain, just a little uh, fuel depot for our Norway, and painting up uh, the wreck right now. Just because I'm still building pieces, but something needs to dry sometimes, and I actually banded on my finger. I had a line of hot glue that got stuck to my finger and uh, it made me pass out. Uh, yeah, it was probably the worst burn I've had in my lifetime and I, I know it's small, it's only my finger, but it KO'd me. Like, the pain went all the way through my arm, down the side of my body, and yeah, that was... I, the glue ripped my skin off, so... That was yesterday and that pretty much took me out for the whole day and I've been doing some bit of catch-up work today. So that's that story. Uh, over here, there's nothing there. So this is the mock-up for our Norway's church. I have three uh, pieces that I'm going to make into marketplaces, and I had a good idea last night that I'm going to go through when I get to it. That is a church for Mini Wargaming Dave, the bridge for our Norway, and that's going to be a large um, piece for Dave. I have one more piece that's behind this plastic getting worked on for our Norway but I have all of these uh, I think there's 17 facade buildings that I'm building up for Mini Wargaming Dave he wants to it's all for the uh, 40k rejects so the idea is to have facade buildings to uh, be in the backgrounds of the shots and all of these windows um, will get some type of uh, like black or something on the back here because it's just you can see they're just there's just facades and every single one of them is absolutely unique. There are some similarities, you know, I use the same materials obviously, but uh, some of them have the rectangular window and some of them have the gothic window. Some of them have different types of buttresses, uh, different thicknesses. Some of them are flying. Uh, I got bricks and sand. Some of them have different types of uh, the stripping going on. Uh, what is it called? Styrene stripping. And oh, get this out of the way. Some of them have it going on the side here. Extra pieces of foam core. Uh, yeah, there's lots of them. So get a lot of variety of shots and stuff. Uh, so a lot of them are gonna get broken parts in the windows and everything. Within the black in the back, some of the gothic windows will get some stained glass and everything. And I have a big guy going here, all those guys, because this whole area, I'm going to use some water in my brush there. I might get a bigger brush, actually. I don't know, that's a good brush, probably. But I'm going to, I could use my airbrush, but thinning out the paint, and, like, the cup is, like, you know, it's this big. I need, like, I need to, like, aerosol them, but aerosol will melt all those guys. So I hand paint a lot of my, or hand base a lot of my terrain, that then use the airbrush, and then go back to hand, and... It's a mix of both, but generally I do a nice thick coat of a latex acrylic paint and then it protects everything and then we can start airbrushing on top. So that's what I got going on. Uh, I'm back in business. I was <laughs> out with that uh, burning my finger with some hot glue. Curse that hot glue. Next I gotta buy a new hot glue gun. You can buy cold hot glue guns. And when I went to go buy mine I just I forgot about it and yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'll put a link again to my E&D GoGo campaign that's running in the description. And uh, happy wargaming.